Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an error that says the application was unable to start correctly in Windows. So we're going to go over a couple of different methods on how to hopefully resolve the problem without too much of a hassle. So the first thing I'm actually going to show you guys is how to re-register all of your DLL files. So we're going to see if that will help resolve the problem. And in order to do that, all you have to do is just left click on the start button one time type in command prompt into the search menu. Best match to go back with command prompt, right click on it, and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now I'm going to have a command pasted in the description video. I want you guys to copy it out of my description. And then go up to the top bar of this command prompt window, right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. Once you pasted it in, you want to hit enter. So this will take a moment here. It's going to re-register all of your DLL files, so it shouldn't be a big deal. And you just want to be patient here. We'll take a moment.
Okay, so once that's done, you can just close out of here. I would suggest restarting your computer. If you have any apps or features, I'd recommend installing the feature. So close out of here. Another thing you can try if you're on Windows 10 Professional after you've rebooted your computer and you're still having problems, you can try opening up the Start Menu again if you're not on Windows 10 Home Edition, but if you're on Pro, Education, or Enterprise, you can go ahead and type in Local Group Policy. Best match should come back with Edit Group Policy. Left click on that one time. Now you want to go ahead and expand the area underneath User Configuration. Expand the Administrative Templates folder. So either double click on the folder or left click on the little arrow next to it. Now you want to expand the System folder in the same way. Now you want to go just left click on the System folder one time. And on the right side you want to go down to where it says Prevent Access to the Command Prompt. Double click on that. And then you want to select Enabled, and then left click on Apply and OK. So I would suggest restarting your computer and hope for that resolved your issue. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.